go. Just to hurry up on here. So listen. Oh, snap, it's too hot. Um, I think this is a cinnamon, cinnamon tea and a, a joint tea or something like that. Or it doesn't, whatever. Uh, let's see. Look. It's a Thursday morning here. You see Thursday mornings. I wake up somewhere between 4 and 5 o'clock. Don't worry about that part. I go to bed earlier too. Uh, and usually about this a Thursday morning, then I get, you know, a notice from the, that, uh, you know, Breaking Brown is on the air. And uh, I haven't got that notice yet. And I looked around, no, no, we've had Cornell. Am I concerned? Not really, but, you know, whatever. But let, let's do, on my phone, if you will notice, uh, I have not, you will notice, but um, there's several sites that I, I check, you know, there's, a, there's an exchange, don't worry about that part, but as far as politi political things go, um, I do, uh, uh, what heck is this, oh, co I do Common Dreams, this is the well, general mind, I do Truth Dig, which I really particularly like, that, that thing, and then on a, another app, another screen, I use uh, Alternet, which I like, and um, the intercept, which I won't get into the intercept right now, but I monitor intercept. But I also have bar. You say, what's bar? Well, let me tell you what bar is. If it comes up, black agenda report. See? So I have that. And it's weekly, you know, and they used to post on Wednesdays, Wednesdays or whatever. So Thursday, I check it out. What I particularly like about bar is there, um, like right this time they have a, this year's coup, they have a thing about WikiLeaks and Chelsea Manning and, and Julian Assange, right? They have, then they have this thing, uh, letters for my readers. I like letters for my readers. I always check letters for my readers. Why? Because uh, those, those are real people, you know, people writing the stuff, they just write the stuff. This week, they have letters for my readers. They deal with uh, reparations and uh, and uh, the the new, the the, um, the black stake in the new green deal, and then it says the, well the title of this thing is uh, uh, reparations now maybe in order to get the job done, uh, it's time to call it something else. And then uh, I guess to per the reader well again, and then it says uh, in reparations now maybe uh, in order to get the job done, it's time to call it something else. That says uh, Bruce Dixon argues uh, that recent demands for reparations are not politically serious and that the black masses would be better served by pushing for more feasible demands. You notice I chuckled there. Anyway, a reader, a person's name, writes, I understand that you believe a rebranding may take you guys further in reparation. I say you guys because I am not an American descendant of slaves, which is the wrong acronym, it's supposed to be an American descendant of slavery because we're not talking about the person, we're talking about the institution, but let's get back to it. Um, uh, ADOS. Uh, the, ADOS, the ADOS have used different names, like, no, the ADOS have used different names, not true, but these are not in the country, tangible, uh, hashtag tangible 2020, haven't they? Uh, let me ask a question. What is your opinion of Yvette Cornell? She is take she is talking to and for the lower class. Correct me if I am wrong, but she also has charisma. Um, pleases quote pleases understand that all the descendants of African slaves around the world are watching you guys ADUS now. This is that's just true, and this well, I'll get to some other commentary. What is the bar position on the ADUS? Uh, hashtag Tangibles 2020 current. Okay. Bruce Dixon, who's an editor there, responds. Here we go. In fact, I think it's not that, is it, is it long? Uh, oh, yeah, it's short. It's only two paragraphs. So I'm going to read it through, then maybe we'll go back because I got I to rush them. I got stuff to do today. The ADOS thing is really, really poisonous, says Bruce Dixon. We are socialists and we believe in solidarity. Oh, I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay, remember, bar is they, 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 they come from a socialist point of view. Okay, great. Um, that clarifies things for me right away. And we believe in solidarity. The, the ignorant right-wing tropes Yvette and her friends traffic in are pretty much a nonsense. We will address that, short, that stuff shortly. We don't want to give it any more oxygen than it already has. 
it's it's a uh, quote. It's a kind of Black American na naive naive naivetism nativism. Sorry, nativism, and it's not surprising that it thrives in the Trump era. It's an example of some Black folks uh, becoming exactly the kind of Americans. That's in quotes, which white racists always wanted us to become. I have no idea how you imagine Miss Cornell as speaking. Uh, to or for the lower class. Like I said, sh we'll be addressing some of the ADOS ignorant right-wing tropes soon. Bet on it. Bet on that. Okay, let's go. It says, Ernst thing is really, really, really poisonous. Okay, so you call his names. No problem. No problem. Not saying this any socialist or whatever is poisonous, but call names if you want. We are socialists. Okay, you're talking about And we believe in solidarity. This is what really is fascinating to me. The ignorant, okay, we believe in solidarity. Solidarity what? So you don't want to solidify with the ADUS, with the ADUS movement. You solidify with this, 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 but you want to solidify with ADUS. All ADOS has done is accurately name a group of people that has not been accurately named before. Get it? Do you understand that? You have labeled just your black person, but you label your, I'm not, your Bruce is black. Bruce Dixon is a black man. You are black, but you label yourself socialist. You understand? So that you have you 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 are a black socialist, I suppose. Okay? Alright? Okay, just wanted to get that out the way. The the ignorant right wing tropes, the what the ignorant right wing tropes, Yvette and her friends, friends, not comrades, friends traffic in are pretty much nonsense. We'll just a circle. Question, question, the tropes, whatever happened. Have you been, Mr. or have you been to www.ados101.com? 101 means it's the basics of ADOS. Have you looked at that? If you looked at that and you say the right wing tropes, okay, fine. Then, okay, well, I guess you'll be done later. No problem, no problem, no I'm getting heated here, but I don't know why. Where was I at? It was just that shortly. We we don't want to give any more oxygen to them. Okay, it's a kind it's a kind of Black American nativism, uh, naivety, whatever. Being uh, nativism. Oh yeah. Uh, so you're saying that we are Black Americans and we're claiming to be Black Americans. I suppose we're Black Americans and claim to be Black Americans. You know, it's like national you nationalists. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's not surprising that. It thrives in the Trump era. This is interesting. It thrives in the Trump. Well, everything thrives in the Trump, Trump era. Socialism thrives. Everything thrives in the Trump, Trump era, including, you know, the rich people. Anyway, let's get back to the point here. It's an example of some black folks, some, I'm one, becoming exactly the kind of Americans which white racists always wanted us to become. This is interesting. I don't know how to answer that one. I don't know how to deal with that one. I have no idea how you imagine Miss Cornell is speaking for or of the lower class. I don't, I don't think she's speaking for the lower class. Hey, she's speaking for, here we go, let's go back. Black or Americans. <laughs> uh, let's see. Like I said, we'll be addressing that. Bruce, Brucey baby. I'm sorry, uh, let me know. Uh, Mr. Dixon? Bruce Dixon, when you address it, other people's gonna address it. That's all I got to say. I being me, T from the Pattersons taking the trenches to bed, letting you, Black Agenda Radio and all the rest of you guys, know exactly, exactly, exactly what I suspect coming to you from the uh, ADES of the um, American descendants of slavery. I'm not really upset, you know, but because it's ridiculous, it's funny to me. Hey, fight! Fight!